Mark, watch this replay. Now see how we use play action to freeze that linebacker? Does that always work? Sure, because Packers are inherently dumber than bears. And Jackie. <laughs> That's okay. I can take it. Oh, I'm surprised you understood it. <laughs> It's only the first quarter, but good energy, yeah! Oh. Eat it, cheesehead! Hey! Wyatt is a guest. I understand the jealousy. The Bears have won one Super Bowl, the Packers have won four. The trophy is called the Lombardi Trophy, which, did I mention, we've won four times? Oh, uh, you got me there, Wyatt. Did I mention that you're an utter-sucking, Rogers-loving, cow-tipping... ...dairy dork loser? <laughs> Barry called it! <laughs> Again, thanks for coming in on a Sunday. I'm sure Ben will find a parking spot and be in here any minute. I know we all want to get home and watch the Bears game with our families. I always watch with my family. It's a tradition. But this is fun, too. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry. Put two dollars in the meter and then I realized it's Sunday. <laughs> Everything I touch turns to crap. As you can see, we've expanded on the lock em up model. We have a new section that exposes local companies who are doing sketchy stuff. That sounds interesting. I bought an accordion once that came apart in my hands. <laughs> you give us a name, we'll go get them. All right. We're going to get them. We're going to go after all the accordion guys. I do have one question. The magazine business as a whole seems like it's on the decline. Are you ready to buck that trend? Sure. It sounds pretty hard, though, doesn't it? What, what Ben is trying to say is that we have a very well-planned business strategy. She's right. We got a completely, uh, what do you call it? Um, she's right. Uh, a lot of people coming here are over-rehearsed. Good for you guys. So, Ben, tell me more about your departure from Lock Em Up. You know what? I'm going to jump in and answer that because otherwise he will. Um... I'd better just go. I'm not helping here. I'll walk home. You know, I thought everything would change once I took the shower, but it didn't. Chicken salad, potato salad, macaroni salad. Well, your family thinks of salad, it's not so much greens as it is mayonnaise. How are you holding up? I'm okay. Your family's just having some fun with me. I don't see the reason why they had to drag my mother into this. I'm sorry, that was over the line. For the record, I don't think she's a wild jackal that squatted out a Packers fan in the woods. <laughs> loud we got a quarterback who trips over his own feet how come our runner always goes straight for the big pile of people instead of the open part because then we'd be a winning team and that's not our way yes yes jackie i told you i didn't want that fantasy football stuff in here i'm up 187 dollars here it's five bucks go buy yourself some get off my ass <laughs> <laughs> hey, buddy, it's just a game. Save that anger for something important. <laughs> the boy's just rooting for his team. Sure, and I love football, too, but at the end of the day, it's just entertainment, like a game show or magic or something. <laughs> magic? Did you say magic? You think a football game is like some bozo pouring milk into a top hat? <laughs> like magic it's like faking a handoff who's got the ball does that guy have the ball no it's that guy 20 yard play whoa it's magic come on mr connor you got to admit that some people do take football too seriously they sit on their couch rather than hike or bike if they put as much energy into their real lives as they do into these games they'd accomplish a lot more are you talking about me why i didn't mean to offend you well you did 
Football is a big thing in this family. Our team struggles are our struggles, and their successes are our successes. Because sometimes we need a win to get through the week. And who the hell are you to pass judgment on that? Let's go, Wyatt. Wow, that was fast. I'm down like a hundred bucks. <laughs> I'm gonna need that five back. Sorry about my family. I wish you met them under better circumstances, like when they're asleep. Yeah, boy. I gotta tell you, I give you a lot more credit for staying sober. Thanks. Why is that? That's a challenging environment. My family's not the reason I drank. Couldn't have helped. There's a lot of anger there. I mean, I get why you all need to escape into the game, and beer, and mayonnaise. That's not an escape. We love football. We love beer, some of us too much. And you'd have to pry the mayonnaise from our cold, slippery hands. Look, I'm not trying to upset you. I just think you and little Bev deserve better. Better than what? All the support in the world doesn't mean anything if you're constantly around toxic people. Are you calling my family toxic? What the hell do you know about them? You were with them for an hour. I'm glad I'm seeing this side of you now. You are judgmental, holier-than-thou jerk. And you're boring. You're like trail mix without the mango, nosing it all. This isn't even a good fight. Get out. This is my car. I don't care. Get out. Fine. But don't mess with my presets. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I had a lot of time to think on the way here, and I figured it out. I'm afraid to fail. You know, the last time I did this, if I screwed up, I only wrecked my life. Now, I'd take down you and your kids with me. What, you think failure's new to my kids? We eat failure for breakfast. And we'd have it again for lunch, but we failed to plan, so we don't have any. <laughs> So you're going to tell me you don't have any problems taking this giant risk? You've already built a successful mugshot magazine. Why can't you just do it again? Because it's not that easy. It was brutally hard the first time, and it took a hell of a lot of luck. Do you know who was on the cover of the first issue of Lock Em Up? The Lanford Cannibal. This guy ate his own foot on a public bus. Now, what are the odds of that happening again? I'm not going to kid you, Ben. They're not good. <laughs> So here is what we're going to do. I am going to use you for your credit rating, and you are going to get out of my way. Well, that seems harsh. <laughs> so I taught you everything I know, and you're just going to use me to get the money and then make all the decisions? Yeah, you're finally getting it. And what are you going to do about it? Take another shower? <laughs> no, I'm going to... Oh, okay. I see what you're doing. You're baiting me. No, I'm just pointing out that you're a shell of a man. So I will build this thing, and you'll greet me at the door looking pretty with a martini in your hand. What do you say about that? All right, yeah, I'll play your little game. I'll let you do all the work, and I'll stay in bed and collect half the profits. Oh, okay, now you're baiting me. The baiter has become the baitee. I think this conversation has turned stupid. <laughs> Now, for the record, I won't be bringing you any martinis until you move up to a whole better class of underwear. Well, I'm alone again. Oh, that's too bad. I was looking forward to backing over Wyatt with my truck. I really wanted him to be the one. I don't get it. Why that guy? Because I thought he was steady and dependable. Beverly Rose needs somebody like that. Let the baby get her own guy. <laughs> You're not ready yet. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm 44 years old and I'm still picking the wrong guys. My picker's broken. Look, you've been sober for a minute. This is the first guy you've dated. How are you supposed to know what you want when you don't even know who you are? I'm just gonna find the first decent, weak-minded guy with a job and force him to love me. Look, you just have to be patient.